I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Jesus shows you how to read the Old Testament. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get our app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available for iTunes, uh, Google Play, and also Amazon Fire. And hole in one, donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about passing that faith on to the next generation keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts today in these times. All right, uh, the text for the traditional gospel for Holy Trinity Sunday is John 3. I want to take a look at just a few verses, three verses, 13, 14, and 15. Um, no one has ascended into heaven except the one who came down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, thus also uh, must be lifted up the Son of Man that all believing in him would have eternal life. That's the text. So what does this have to do with the Old Testament? Well, it has everything to do with the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, the children of Israel were brought out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Moses led them out, and he led them through the Red Sea onto dry land. Now their response to all God did Their response to all God did was to build a golden calf and say to the golden calf, this is the God who brought us out of Egypt. Later on, they grumbled against God for the food that he was, that he was giving them because they didn't like it. This bread is awful. Sort of like these trees. Nice. It was worth all the misses to get that over the shoulder one because it's it's not just, you know, that's easy. This is, anyway, so um, Jesus says this. It, he makes reference to this account. They grumbled against God and against Moses. And what God did in response to that was to send serpents into the camp who bit many, killed many, harmed many. That was the judgment that he sent for their disobedience. They cried out to God, and their resp the response from God was to tell Moses to put a snake on a stick, on a stick, a snake on a stick, and whoever looked on the bronze serpent on a stick was healed. Now, he didn't get rid of the, um, the snakes, they were still biting people who were grumbling, but he did provide a means in which he could deliver salvation to them in the midst of their grumbling. Ooh, it was a little short. Jesus gives the clincher. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the, in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, lifted up on the cross. Nobody's ever gone up to heaven uh, uh, gone up to heaven except the one who's come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the wilderness, uh, the snake in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is love. What is love? Moses lifting up the serpent in the wilderness. God lifting up his son on the cross. This is love. This is how God loves. He gave up his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Okay? So if you want to know how to read the Old Testament, you read the Old Testament looking for Jesus. This event where God shows you how he is. They grumble against him. They choose other gods. They complain. He sends serpents into, the wilder, uh, into their camp. They cry out to God. His answer is to show them a sign of Christ, 
a big giant arrow which points to the suffering and death of Christ. And as they were saved by looking at that, that snake on his stick, so also are we saved by looking and believing in Jesus hanging on the cross. Whoever looks on him shall be saved. Whoever believes in him shall be saved. And this is John 3, 16. In this way, in what way? Jesus lifted up on the cross, just like the serpent lifted up on the stick. In this way, God, God loved the world. He gave up his only begotten son. So you want to know how God is? You look in the Old Testament, you see him saving the children of Israel by the snake on, on his stick. And then Jesus says, you know what? The same way that happened, so also I'm going to get lifted up. That whoever believes in me on that cross will be saved. Because I, that cross, the lifting up of the Son of Man on the cross, shows how God loves the world. And whoever believes in God sending his Son on the cross to die has eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. That's how you read the Old Testament. You read it looking for Jesus. You read it looking for comfort in the suffering and death of Christ. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Really? And this has been another Higher Things video short.